Hello, welcome to Apply Semester Live. I'm Bill, and with me again as usual is my my friend and sidekick, Kari, right over here. How are you doing today, Hey Kari? guys, thanks for joining us again. Um, today we're gonna to be talking about some basic things you can do to maintain your gas cooktop or range top. So we've got a list of some common questions that we receive from customers, you know, as well as, you know, just standard concerns that people might have if they have a gas cooktop in their home. What would one of those questions be, Kari? Well, I think the number one might be, is how do you clean up a spill? So okay. an example would be like if your pot boils over, like cooking pasta or rice, and you've got a nice little mess down there in the crevice, what would be a good way to clean that up without damaging the igniter or well, the ignition? Well, uh, obviously after, you can't really clean until it's cool, when things, you know, mm -hmm. and you're done cooking. But when, um, you got to take it apart as best you can, like sop up any kind of water with uh, paper towels or a regular towel. But um, if it's a, and most uh, most ignitions today are electronic ignition. When you turn, when you start the surface unit, it clicks. So uh, you mm -hmm. got you got to make you got to be delicate around those things. I have a picture of one actually. The um, it's a um, this um, you know the picture here. Like this is the igniter. And it's just a, it's like a ceramic base, and it has an electrode that sparks to the uh, burner head. If you, uh, uh, these are fragile. If you hit this hard, it can crack it. And um, anyway, so just be careful around those things because they're also power supplied at the bottom. There's a wire that comes in and it's high voltage, that, so it'll actually arc across the top of that. So, <laughs> any, uh, and then as far as you know, the burner's igniting. Well, what point. would what would a, a possible another cause of a problem be for the burner well, to not ignite? Like, so if it's clicking or repeatedly clicks while in use. Yeah, if you have a spill on the burner head, the round mm -hmm. head has uh, like uh, probably dozens of little holes all the way around the head, and those can get those can get clogged even with just water. Like even if it's just wet, it may not light. Mm -hmm. In that case, you know, it's probably better just to let it dry or let it until it's dry. But um, if those even over time, like those might get other than water, there might be get like sticky substances of, from any kind of cooking, cleaning of those. And you can, um, you know, a lot of those come off. You can remove the burner head, you know, wash it with a, um, you know, like a stiff plastic brush or, you know, um, look for any kind of debris because sometimes it gets, you know, uh, other cooking, you might burn on things on that head. So it might be more, be more aggressive cleaning with like a, you know, a paper clip or again, maybe a, a, a brass bristle brush, like a little toothbrush. Or call an appliance master technician to come over and clean it out for you. Well, that would be our preferred method. Yes, definitely to prevent further damage. And then I know another common question that we have from customers calling in is the differences in flame colors. Yeah. So if someone's used to having a blue flame and they might see yellow or orange on there, what could that be a sign of? Well, um, different color flames, obviously, when you spill things on the burner head, they'll be burning and or with different holes clogged you'll have different burn rates they'll get yellow tips again if you uh the safest thing to do is if you have a big spill just like a white you know mop up what you can and actually if you just you know let it dry and then you know let maybe light the burners later um if if you're not comfortable with any of that i would just you know call appliance master a service it's probably just be a service call and maybe some minor cleaning it's probably not that complicated you can get into more trouble you know if you uh not comfortable with what you're doing mm -hmm. That's very true. And then, you know, I know we've mentioned a couple of times already that, you know, if you have any issues like that to call Appliance Master, our technicians, they're equipped with the special cleaning tools like the, like you had mentioned, the yeah. stiff bristled brushes to clean the burner heads out for you. Yeah. You know, one thing I wanted to mention too is when you turn your surface unit on and you hear that clicking, it clicks mm -hmm. and then it, um, and then the burner lights. What you're hearing is there is actually a, a spark will shoot across from this electrode to the burner head. And that spark is like a little bolt of lightning. Like it's like a little clap of thunder actually. And what happens, it, 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 seriously, are you laughing? I uh, am. It's, a good, it's a good analogy. The, um, but what happens is when you, um, when the gas is, comes out of here, the gas actually flows to this igniter. The current is still flowing through the flame, mm -hmm. but you don't hear that spark anymore. You don't see the spark. So if you get a, um, if the flame were to blow out, even in this one section on an entire burner from a door being open or a gust of wind, 
that's where you hear the clicking and it should, um, you know, relay pretty quickly. Uh, and then what are some signs that you might need a maintenance call? I know that um, we had discussed this previously in another video, I think, probably around the same time last year leading up to the holiday season. But um, I think, you know, what are some typical things someone might want to look out for as far as well, on the, the gas range needing a maintenance call? Well, the surface unit is, you know, um, the sparking, the not lighting, uh, mm -hmm. some LP units, if they're not adjusted properly, you can get soot or discoloration on pots. That's mm -hmm. on the top. In the oven down below, you can have, um, you'll have uneven heating is a, um, uh, a common one where if you're whatever you're let's say you're baking a tray of cookies and some are done and some aren't maybe some are burnt like that can be a, a cause um, you know with mm -hmm. a, a, a on gas an igniter failing in an electric oven it could be like hot spots in, a, in an element um, sometimes it's even um, this is unusual but if um, some like the oven floors some of those are fairly loose might be no screws or one screw like you can have parts that are out of place but that's that's unusual you know somebody was trying to clean it up and it didn't put it back together properly does that help yeah well that was like that's a lot of good information about the gas range tops i know we've talked about it in the past and had a couple of technicians come you know sit with us and go over their tips and tricks but you know especially leading into the holiday season it's a good idea to you know keep an eye on your appliances because you yeah. want to prevent a major catastrophe before yeah. Well, we're, and we're still in the middle, you know, we're still in the, involved with this COVID situation. So mm -hmm. um, more so than usual, like our uh, supply chain of parts is still interrupted. There are things that we've been, you know, we can't get parts for months. And some, you know, most are still getting readily available, but, you know, there's still problems that way. So more so than a normal holiday season, you'd ask people to look for these things early get service calls or early. Or your maintenance calls as soon yeah. as possible. It's, um, I think we had a uh, lost car there. There she's back. Sorry. But uh, they're, um, also, if you're going to self-clean an oven or a range, do that, um, you know, weeks before you want to use it at Thanksgiving or if you're having company over. So mm -hmm. if, because uh, self-cleaning is an, um, an extreme feature, it gets to high temperatures, and it's you know it's not likely that things will go bad, but if when if thing if something's going to go bad, it's going to uh, happen when you're when you're self cleaning. So do that. Don't do that the yes. night before. Do that in plenty of time. So if there's an issue, you have time to address it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then as always, if you have any other questions, please feel free to visit our website appliancemaster.com, comment on this video, or just simply give us a call at eight hundred seven five two seven one two three we can try and answer some questions for you and set up a maintenance appointment for your gas cooktop or range top all right well thanks for uh, joining us again Kari, and uh, thank you too hopefully we'll see you next week yeah we'll see you next week